Would you rather go against a starving crazed lion or a rampaging elephant? Well, if you were a gladiator, you don't get to choose. You just have to survive. Hello, my name is Jeff, and today we are covering the top 10 animal gladiators. Now, the gladiatory battles that were held in the Colosseum in Rome were brutal. Brutal! By the time the famous Colosseum opened in 80 AD, gladiator games had evolved from free willing battles to the death into a well organized blood sport. This is so exciting! Fighters were placed in classes based on their record, skill level, and experience, and most specialized in a particular fighting style and set of weaponry. But men and even women weren't the only fighters in the game. There were also fierce animals of all sizes and shapes. And to start, we want to say that we don't agree with forcing animals to fight each other or having a person fight an animal. That being said, these animals were chosen for a specific reason. One way or another, they all know how to handle themselves. They were the pick of the litter, the best of the best. These animals were used to add variety and excitement to the games. They were often pitted against each other or against gladiators. The fights were staged for dramatic effect. <gasps> and exotic and powerful animals were brought in to awe the audience. <sighs> but what animals did they choose to use? And for what purposes? Let's find out. But before we do, if you're new, go ahead and hit that like button. Because it really does help us out. Now, let's jump into the ring. Number 10, Crocodiles. Crocodiles were a big part of the games, and they were typically placed in artificial ponds or pools within the arena. The details of their use varied, but one account tells us that crocodiles were used to reenact a naval battle. They actually flooded most of the arena, and they placed condemned prisoners and gladiators on makeshift boats to engage with the crocodiles. Things didn't get too dangerous, that was until the crowd started to get bored. And that was when the real soldiers would start pushing some of those forced actors slash convicts into the water. Did not go well for them. Number nine, wild boar. Wild boars were utilized in the gladiatorial games for their aggressive and unpredictable nature. These hogs charged their enemies, attempting to knock them down. And then the boar would use its sharp tusks to strike at the warrior. They were often pitted against gladiators, adding an element of danger and excitement to the spectacle. They were either released as a warm-up or let loose in the arena while two or more gladiators were in combat with each other. One example involved one gladiator facing off against several of these wild boars, armed with just one spear. Number 8. Wolves Now some of the animals that were brought into the arena were trained to perform tricks instead of fight. Woo! Wolves fell into that category. Wolves were not usually used to fight in the arena, mainly for religious reasons. In the long run, this was probably good for the wolves. They didn't pointlessly have to be taken out. The question is, why not have them fight? Why not? Yeah, why not? Wolves are not known to be the gentlest of animals. And in the ancient world, when many people made their living as shepherds, wolves could pose a significant threat. Uh? But for reasons we do not understand, the Romans chose a wolf as their symbol. According to Roman mythology, the city's twin founders, Romulus and Remus, were abandoned on the banks of the Tiber River when they were just infants. A she-wolf saved their lives by letting them nurse. Wow, that was weird. And so the honoring of the wolf was born. Number 7. Leopards Leopards were not only added to the Colosseum because of their speed, agility, and strength, but also due to their exotic appearance. Because of their fierceness, they were often released alone against a gladiator. And more often than not, they were able to stand their ground just fine. And this aggression is still present today. One of the most infamous incidents of this big cat's violent nature involved the leopard of the central provinces, which killed nearly 150 people over just a couple of years in India in the early 1900s. That's a cat with an attitude problem. Number 6. Rhinos Many gladiators were given armor and a weapon of choice to fight with. However, they rarely gave animals this option. It's a good thing that a rhino is born with both. <laughs> 
Go rhinos. Go rhinos. There are only a handful of recorded instances of rhinos being placed in the gladiatorial games. One instance involved the Roman emperor himself facing off against a rhino with nothing more than a bow and arrow. Another on record account is of a two horned rhino facing off against both a bull and a bear. The rhino ended up winning by charging over the competition. Number 5. Hippos Many times during these games, it wouldn't be a battle per se, but more of a hunt, also known as a venation. And the hunters for this specific hunting event were referred to as venators. They would show their skills by hunting the various animals brought to the Colosseum. One such animal was the hippopotamus. But due to their round build and slow nature, these behemoths were often underestimated. Yeah, well, maybe next time you will estimate me. With their incredible bite force and strength, the hippo would often come out on top of the fight. Number 4. Bears As bad as this sounds, if you had to choose an animal to bet on in a fight, a bear is not a bad option. Worse than the fact that they made animals do these events at all, is that when it came to many of the bears, Romans would neglect them for days leading up to releasing them into the Colosseum to fight. This not only made them hungry, but also kept them from getting used to human interaction. Captured in Scotland, bears were another popular animal used in gladiatorial fights, and because of their power, size, and sharp long claws, they were a true force to be reckoned with. Number 3. Elephants Similar to rhinos, elephants were brought to the Colosseum due to their huge size and exotic status. They were used in a variety of ways, including doing circus tricks and also just showing them off to the citizens of Rome. Look, it's an elephant! What? However, given the overpowering size and strength of the average elephant, many gladiators were forced to fight them in one-on-one -on -one combat. It's safe to say that elephants were quite difficult to fight, even for a highly trained and seasoned gladiator. Number 2. Lions Capable of reaching over 500 pounds and speeds of over 30 miles per hour, it's no wonder lions were chosen as competitors against fearsome gladiatorial fighters. Thunder! Thunder! Thundercats! Ah! While animals were once chained up during the early days of Colosseum battles, like lions were, they were eventually given free reign around the entire arena. As painful as this is for me to say because lions are one of my favorite animals, there are some stories suggesting that one particular Roman emperor went through at least 500 lions in a single game due to their popularity. While lions hunt best in groups, even a single lion is capable of taking out a grown man with ease. I'd like to have a word with that emperor. Number 1. Tigers Tigers gave gladiators as much of a run for their money as lions. These sleek big cats are often longer and heavier compared to lions. What did he say? With some weighing more than 600 pounds. Given the fact that most tigers hunt as a solitary creature, gladiator battles against a single tiger likely never went well for the gladiator. These cats are constantly fighting with prey, predators, and even other tigers. In other words, fighting is kind of a way of life for these big beasts. So it's no surprise that when one of these animals were released into the arena, they were often the only living ones left to walk away from the fight. The gladiatorial games were brutal. brutal. And it sucks because many lives were lost due to these events. During just one festival in 240 AD, a staggering 2,000 gladiators, 70 lions, 40 wild horses, 30 elephants, 30 leopards, 20 wild donkeys, 19 giraffes, 10 antelopes, 10 hyenas, 10 tigers, 1 hippopotamus, and 1 rhinoceros were all slaughtered. Due to the fact that the lives of so many wild beasts ended in the Colosseum and other Roman arenas, they caused several exotic animals to become virtually extinct. 
and that is one of the major reasons that they put an end to these Savage games. That being said, here's an interesting question for you. How long do you think you would last in an arena with one of these animals? And if you had to choose, which animal would you go against? Leave your answers in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you all next time.